into the business end of the season. We are five red lights for the sprint race. And away we go. Walker's got off well. Brownish Buns is a bit of a snap off the line. Is that going to allow Throne Globe to challenge for the move down the inside into turn one? Throne Globe backs out. Pistol Peter stays where he is. There's a lot of action going on in the midfield. Oh, ABT Michael is a bit of a snap. The Haas looks for the move down the inside on Michael. Can he get the position on Throne Globe? No, we can't. Throne Globe stays where he is. Michael, very poor start. There's a bit of contact between the Mercedes and the Red Bull. Michael's off into the grass as he He's rejoins down. down behind oh, his teammate. No. Very poor start by Michael. Oh, they're going free wide. And the Brewdog managed to get ahead of McLaren and the, the green car. But Arthur's trying to battle it back, gets pushed off track. Well, not really off track, a bit wide there, but that's like, I'll make it go back through. What a start. Yep, these guys in P8 and P9 still battling on the entrance to Cops. The V-Cob chooses to back out and set off a P9, as I believe that's an Aston Martin of Brewdog went off on the exit of Cops. That's going to allow the McLaren to hinder his rear. This is a mixed variety of battery management. We're seeing the Red Bull in P5. Looking for a move round the outside on the Haas. He's not got a lot of battery left. He's burning what he has left of it to make the move on the Haas. It's the Red Bull up into P5. As the Haas is not going to challenge it into Cops. What an overtake from the Red Bull. There's uh, no changes going on the front. Ferrari are trying to pull away from Pistol. Is Pistol's just on the DRS Rangers. Pistol's gone off the track. Pistol's into the gravel. Bossinger might be trying it. Bossinger is trying it. I'll be inside. Bit of contact. Pushing the Alpine off. And going really wide there. Looks, Looks to get the better exit, exit, which he does. Yeah. Here comes the Rebel now. Getting past. Side by side, though. Pulling to Cops. Ooh, it's going to be close. Really nicely done from Bossinger there, in all fairness. Alpine's going to come back at him, though. No, he's not. Smart. Smart guy. Yeah, but the Bill Holly's got a really good run right now. Brewdog as well. That's a massive snap. Infamous for his snaps. He's gonna try it anyway. He looks to move down the inside on the Aston Martin. The Aston Martin is still there, hanging it down the inside. <laughs> These two are still going side by side. Bit of contact the as Aston's well. Aston shoved off. There's a bit of contact, it's a bit aggressive from the Mercedes. As Brownis has uh, swapped with Walker. A little change around the yet. front there. We've got the Alpine TP cheering on another team. What, what team is he cheering on? As all, Globe's in. Globe is in. Going for an undercut then I see. Throwing Globe pits. Really? We now look on them. We go on board with the hash driver in P5. DRS on. ERS on. He will get ahead of the Red Bull. He needs to catch up to Pistol if he wants any chance of a podium. As the Haas gets the move done nice and easy on the Red Bull. As Pistol has dropped DRS on both Ferraris as well. Um, so clearly the driver swap was the correct decision to make. As the Red Bull goes down the inside of the Haas through Cops. The Red Bull clearly doesn't want to give up that position. Be interesting to see if any of these. More time though, isn't it? Yeah, that is true. 3.6 seconds is now the gap. And as I was just about to say, it'll be interesting to see if any of these midfield runners do pit. Um, are they going to try and go as long as they can? But these lot clearly still want to fight, fight for Ooh, the position. The Haas goes down the thing. inside of the Red Bull. Red I'll Bull just have a very good them. exit round the outside. It's both drivers pit, so. Wasted a lot of time there. Burning his battery, burning the DRS. Will he send it down the inside? The oh, the Brownist and Globe side by side. Brownist pushing Globe, giving him minimal space, but I think it was just about illegal. Globe back up the inside. Uh, still side by side, but Globe clears him. That's going to help walk a lot. You see the Ferrari now using DRS to look for the move down the inside. As he gets that done, we'll throw him globe look and try and get the switch back. He doesn't get enough traction on the exit. As that is the Red Red Bull and the other V-Carb going side by side. The V-Carb looks at a switch back. There's a Ooh. bit of contact and the Red Bull's round. The Red Bull is round. The V-Carb oh, oh. the understeer. And he goes into the rear right-hand side of the Red Bull. As oh, and the Red Bull down down as well. The Red Bull and oh, the Merck going side by switched. side into Cops. Michael tries to hang it. As yes. Michael gets the place, AMR deciding to sit back. What a move that was from Michael. 
on the stock compound. He's looking to get blue dog already as well. Look at the speed advantage he's got. It's absolutely criminal. He will get him to poor X. <clears throat> Mercedes looking Mercedes. good right now. As Bang gets past Mercedes the hat as well. Up to P8. So that's not a good exit from the Haas. That's oh, Globe takes as we're seeing, Yep, Throne Globe takes the lead of the race again. Brownest decides not to ballot it and just let him go. If they're not quite close enough to consider a move. Is the Haas going to look for it into turn one? We have a retirement. There was a massive collision and we have a safety car. We have a safety car in the last three laps of the race. Of course, John Walker's going to come through. Are we going to have DRS? Yeah, last lap DRS. Yeah. If, we, if we're going to have last lap DRS, then... And he's gone. The, yep, the Fra one of the Ferraris will take Pistol's it. been absolutely dropped. A pistol, mate. Come on. We'll see. I mean, DRS will be a massive factor. As Brownis Buns has spun on the final corner. Oh, I've just jinxed him massively. This is going to be very difficult for Throne Globe to try and defend. He's had a good exit, though. Go, I don't think he's going to hold it. <laughs> DRS enabled. Oh, so he's getting the DRS for Walker. He's getting overtaken. He's gone. <laughs> Here comes Walker up the Walker inside. Walker to the move down the inside on the final Will's lap. Walker's holding it. Walker's Will's taking it around the outside. Walker's having a bit of a oh. spin on the exit. Globe's Throne having Globe it. keeps the lead as he comes around the final few corners. Oh, Globe, the Aston Martin. As it looked to Ferrari 1 2 at first. Throne Globe wins the sprint. What an entertaining race. Here we are then for a wet race here at Silverstone. This is the main race, of course. We have five red lights, and away we go. Throne Globe gets off well. So does Walker. No loss of traction on the start for these leaders. Oh, pistol. Up front. Pistol, pistol Peter oh. with a very good start. Pistol Peter up into P2. The Mercedes tries to challenge it on Walker. I cannot see anything because of the spray. <laughs> and that's Bill the Holic stays P4. Throne Globe remains in the lead. As there is a lot of side-by-side -side going on right now thing. in the midfield. <laughs> Dutch Booster's the off. The V-Carb gets ahead of Dutch Booster. Dutch Booster is off the circuit. That has allowed the Haas of Gentry to shove him off. Him off the, he's completely shoved him off the track. The Alpine's onto the grass. Down into P12. Unlucky oh, Terry, mate. 14. He's basically last. As we see Brownest. Um, after a poor end to the sprint. Up into P8. As that's big. Arthur and AVT Michael going side by side in the full wet. Who's going to get the better traction oh, on the exit? Major the McLaren snap. has a bit of a snap. And he's, that's not going to oh, He just snapping. misses the wall. <laughs> he's just missed the wall by a centimetre. I'm interested was. to see if the uh, if the intermediates become the better tyre here. It's like a Raven right now. Uh, I think it was Raven that did it sometime. I don't remember. I just remember someone saying something about it. Raven starting on Inters and then, you know, it turned. Um, it was their go-to strategy in, in the sprint race of Spa when it was wet. Yeah, that was it, that was it. Not just Raven. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't know. I, I don't know. I just remember someone saying Raven did it. Is that some Mercedes and a Ferrari, I believe, going side by side. Dan's Dan got looked for it down the inside. Couldn't get the move done. Ooh, as the, the Alpine there. goes very deep into the corner, that's going to allow Bovka to look for the move down the inside as they go side by side. The Salva backs out. Yeah, I mean, he was there. He might as well stuck it. Oh, Alameda up the inside of Bill Hollick. Hit him with a it's little a bit fake. of contact between Bovka and Brewdog. Brewdog has really bad damage. As you can tell, this is going to hold Parasaur up badly. Parasaur is going to need to do what he can to get ahead. He doesn't have the best of exits. The lack of front wing from Brewdog is going to help him massively oh, on these straights. Michael though. and J.M. have just gone uh, side by side for cops in the wet. And they somehow held it. As the Mercedes and the McLaren are still going side by side, the McLaren gets the position. As we're now on board with Michael. A massive bit of oversteer on the exit. Really struggling for the grip. He's not using the battery, he's using the stick on the McLaren. No he's on the battery now. Looks to move down the inside. Has a bit of a skid on the grass. Down the inside on the McLaren goes Michael. Will he get the good enough traction on the exit to get the position? Yeah, yes, he Arthur's does. These two it. are still side by side. Back up the inside goes Arthur. The final two corners. Ooh, what a dive. As the Merc looks for the switch back. Oh my god. Can the Merc oh. get the switch back? Yes, he does. Through goes Michael. Michael back up into P9. That is incredible. He's had a bit of a snap, but so is the McLaren. Just oh, tire marks. Jim, he's gone wide. He's onto the grass. Michael's going to dive around the outside on the dry line. Contact as well. Ooh. Oh, is there's contact. But Michael gets the position anyway. Will the McLaren get the position as well? Yes, oh. it does. 
the red ball drops down two places within two corners as that is Michael and the McLaren up to P8 and P9. As Dutch Booster now is going to take the outside line, looking for it on Ball's finger. The head as it stands, round the outside. Ball's is going to try and hold it up the inside. Is he going to be able to? They're still side by side actually. Really nice for them. Brown is one comes in. Alamate will pass his lap. These two are still side by side. And Bolzinger looking to hold it. Oh, and Dutch Booster just gets it. Very close racing. Oh, uh, we can see a couple of people come uh, into the pits now. Jeremy gets a penalty, but here comes Walker now. Pulls I it did inside. expect it. Yep, Walker goes ahead. The V-Cab's not going to challenge it. It's like I said a few laps ago, we should be expecting a dry line. Yeah, you can see the dry line clearly, yeah. Pistol into the yeah, pits, the Merc into the pits. Throne Globe stays out. Is that the right call for the Aston? Ooh, it's a snap for a little bit. Yeah, he's going to have to pit. Which he does. So Walker is going to take the lead of the Grand Prix. Alameda in. Eventually stays out. Throne Globe in as well. I just meant to say that. But... <laughs> Globe with fastest lap. Has he got fast as up when he's in the pit? Whilst pitting. That is all from below. I think that's the first Throne Globe decided to pit and he got fastest lap in the pit. Michael set him fastest lap, so there we go. That right there is Aura. No, Michael pitted as well. What is it with these people boxing getting fastest lap? Guys, right, just take a chill though. So I'm keeping an eye now on Brownist. Not gonna gain. I don't think he's gonna be anywhere near getting Throne Globe. He was about P7 or P6 when he came in into the pits, I think. And he. Oh. Seven, he has lost a lot. He was yep, definitely not. P11 right oh. now. Oh. As he looks for it around the outside of the V carb. Massive contact. Oh. I don't know who's at fault there, but I am a bit aggressive from Brownless. Definitely at fault there, 100%. I mean, the Inters are obviously the quickest tyre. Oh, uh, Darren's into the back of Boltzlinger. Oh, the Holly can held up here by the Red Bull, and he goes into the back of him again. Frustration coming for the Mercedes now. He's trying to force the move. It's actually been pushed onto the grass. they lock wheels. Oh. Down a bolt sling lock wheels. That's going to allow Pistol to look for the move down the inside. Pistol Peter gets the position. Back on Builder Holic. Up into P7 goes Pistol. That's what Dan's not going to give up on it yet, though. He's burning the battery. He's going to go look for it. look for the move down the inside? No, he doesn't. I genuinely think that if like Genji or Jamie pitted that out, they wouldn't lose that much. It'd come up to 11. Battling going on right now between Boltslinger, Genji's box Pistol by the way. and Dan. Genji has box. Oh, there's someone off Boltslinger. We do have a bit of action. I believe that's a Red Bull and a Williams going side by side. JR looks for the move. Parasol almost lets him by, but, re but looks for the move back down the inside. Massive gain of traction from the Williams. Both drivers burning. Still side by side as we're about to head into Cops as Parasol. Doesn't back out. Parasol looks to move down the inside. I thought he backed out there. As these drivers are still side by side heading into maggots. Are these two going to hang it? Wheel to wheel. Oh, contact! There's a bit of a snap from the Williams. But the Red Bull hangs on. Fantastic racing from these Parasol two. Here comes Parasol on the intermediates. Round the outside on the exit. Who's going to have more battery? It's, it's, they've both got none. Best way of putting it. Oh, contact the parcel with a massive slap. There goes Michael on Gen G. Down the inside on the dry line. Easily gets the move done. Using all of the track that he can. The has is going to reconsider the move down the inside. As Genshi re takes the position, Michael's going to fight it back. He gets the better traction. Lovely defender from ADP Michael. Michael re takes the position. Is Genji going to look for it? That no, he's not. From Michael. Look at the ERS to different. Oh, as he, he has, has a bit of a snap on the exit. Oh. Here comes Genshi. Contact! Side by side oh, into Genshi. Magus, they spin and the hash is round. He's, round! He's managed to save it. So it's not going to cost him that much. But wow. These drivers have gained confidence out of nowhere. A, a Walker's in! Walker is in! Out into the pits. This is a it. Walker is into the pits. That, that battle Here might have helped go. him. He could come out P6 if he... Nah, it's not going to. I don't think he will. He's, he's got to go up the inside here. He has to. He has to send it, which he has. He looks to move down the inside. He just has so much more traction than the Haas. Gets the move done. Will the Haas try and look for the move back down the inside? Oh, he does. Contact, he's taking him I out. believe there was a bit of contact. And Walker's round. Oh. Haas has spun Walker round. This is the battle for P3. However, Throne Globe does have a penalty. 
Um, if you if you want to check race director actually, and oh, tell up us inside. how many warnings Dan has. A little luxury. Uh, it's not on me. As the Red Bulls are battling, there's contact between the two Red Bulls. Bolzling has forced his teammate into the pit. <laughs> Bolzling has pushed his teammate into Wait, the pit. Wait, Walker's all over the back of Michael. He's got one lap to get the move. Like, MC's not going to be uh, happy about that. Oh my god, six temps. This is it. Man's going on the wet patches to say tire wear, I'm pretty sure. Goldaholic, five temps between them as we head on to the final lap. There's no way. Walker and Michael battling really hard. I don't know what to watch here. I, I want to watch them both watch. at the same time. Alright, because you're on the I stream, really you watch the World of Holic and Crispy Cheese Balls. Oh, I don't want to miss it. Three times. Oh, yeah, get on. Oh, that was, that was... Get on this front fight. This is it now. <laughs> the final lap of this race. Build a Holic versus Crispy Cheese Balls. <laughs> For the win of this race. <laughs> Three tenths. Oh my god, he's so close to him. He's right on That's the back the of him. He's gonna he's send very it. Very close. Send there's it. A, oh, there's a bit of contact. Why did he send Crispy it? Crispy balls is desperate for this win. I've got the same amount of DRS. What can Alameda do? On the battery goes Alameda. Okay. Oh, Crispy both, both balls. of them are saving. Both of them are saving right now. As Walker's actually going around the outside of Michael, but let's just, just screw that fight real quick. We have a Get yellow a flag. flag. It's oh. an Aston. Is that oh, from I thought Globe? That no, it wasn't. Let's walk us past Michael, so we don't need to worry about that anymore. But Walker has to the This is going to be it for Crispy Cheese Same amount of battery, almost the exact same. I'm standing up for this one. Dan wide, Dan's going wide. That went very wide there. Oh my god, this is. Oh my god. Here we go then. Yellow flags. have yellow flags. But that was slow, wasn't it? That wasn't again. Oh my god, he's got such a good run. He's got such a good run. Crispy Cheese Balls has the ERS on. He's oh my sniffing God. the back of that Mercedes. Is he going to look for the move? He has and to send it. The defensive line. Round the outside. Round the oh, outside no. goes Crispy Cheese Balls. He takes he's the done lead it. of this race. He's done it. Dan's going to come back at him. Dan round the outside. Challenge it back. There's a bit of contact. Dan's round the outside. What will Dan do? He can't hold it. late on the brakes goes the Mercedes. He's going for a switchback. He's going for a switchback round the outside. Round the outside goes the Mercedes. Oh, mate, he's got it. Oh, mate, he's got it. Oh, my God, Dan. Alamey is going to win the race with a oh my god. finish. Build a what an end fumble. to the race in Division 5. Oh Crispy man. Cheese Balls beats Dan There's in the no final way. sector. Wow. There's no way. Build a Holic fumble wow. again. What an incredible end. Oh my fair play. Honestly, I reckon, Mill, that we're the best two commentators that could have commentated this moment right there. We're making it so much more exciting as well. That was unbelievable. That was incredible. The absolute scenes coming out of that, and Globe only gets P6, so Walker has gained on him. Simon says, my old mate might get a post race pen. on between Sauber and Williams. Sauber's not going to be close enough, though. I can't believe that. That's incredible. It's Build a holic, throwing it away massively. That is incredible. I don't know why that's inviting I still can't get over that. Oh, Parasol's <laughs> just stopped for some reason. I don't know why Parasol just stopped his car. That is incredible. That is it, folks, apart from the Red Bulls.